I finally learned C++. Okay, so you are probably wondering why I'm using C++. This is primarily because of my school. So I study specialized in information technology and I am required to know either C++ or Pascal because I'm familiar with the C languages before, so I chose C++. So C Sharp is a language that I have known before, so I decided to compare them by solving the same problem in the two languages. This is the result. Now I think I'll get cancelled for this, but to be honest, I think C++ is a bit easier than C Sharp. This is because I think the C++ syntax is a bit easier to learn than C Sharp. Also, it's easier to work with arrays in C++ than C Sharp. So overall, I'd say that doing programming exercises in school is much easier than game development. This is because although I think the exercises are more difficult than actual coding, actual game development requires much more than coding. Yeah, I ran out of things I can say right now, so let's move on to the exercises. Okay, so now I'll try to solve the previous year's exam of my school. In the first exercise, basically what they want us to do is that they will give us the perimeter of a square and we will find the area of it. Let's code. First, we declare variables, then assign it, then we take the variable, divide by 4, then raise to the power of 2. Nice. Okay, now we have a problem. If this is a real exam and I hand over this file immediately, I will get a zero. This is because I need these lines. Yeah, it's just stupid. Nice. This problem gives you the information of the money before you give it into the bank, the money you get after it, the interest, and you have to calculate how much time you have to invest. This time I will use a while loop to check if the initial money has reached the destined money yet and then add up the time accordingly. What? Failure! Yeah, it's a pretty common beginner mistake. And that is when I realized it's simple interest, not compound interest. Next up, I will do exercise 4 because exercise 3 is way too difficult for me. In the last exercise, basically they will give us a bunch of number and you have to find the distance between the smallest and the largest one. In this problem, we will have to define an array, find the smallest number, find the largest number, and then find the distance. Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want more contents like this, please consider subscribing. That would help me a lot. Also, this is my most recent video. You can watch it if it looks like a clickbait.